All right guys, what's going on? Brandon from PFS, and today I'm gonna to walk you guys through a few of our favorite beginning locomotion drills. So locomotion just basically being going from point A to point B, and typically we're going to use full body, we're gonna use the hands and the legs. We get a lot of benefit from this, from uh, upper body stabilization, upper body mobility, lower, bo lower body stability and stabilization. It, it's again, a really good way to get the full body warm and put yourself in positions that you're probably not used to being in. If you can be in those positions, drive some good air, it's a good way of opening things up. So the first one I'm gonna do is just a high blood crawl. You're gonna see different names for these from different, from different trainers, from different camps, but for us, we typically just call this a high blood crawl. So like, it, like the name says, I'm gonna crawl with my butt very high, I'm gonna focus on driving air into my chest, into my back. I wanna be really strong and stable through my scapula. I'm gonna get some good serratus, I'm gonna get some good core, hamstring and glutes. So all this is with my hands on the ground, I'm gonna spread my fingers, I'm gonna walk my feet up to where I feel a good stretch. I want a loose neck, and then the pattern is just right, left, left, right, nice, and slow to start nice and high. As you start to get better at this, your feet will start to creep up further. But all we're doing is keeping weight on the hands, loose neck, and starting to move. When you first do this, you guys might be way out of this, and this is fine. We're just starting to integrate this pattern. Again, start to get better at it. You start to be able to creep the hands up nice and high. All right, yeah, so another beginning locomotion drill. We're gonna take the high butt crawl and we're gonna turn it into a lateral movement. So we call this high butt eight crawl. It's a similar pattern, except we're moving laterally, okay? So from a deep squat, the pattern is gonna be my outside arm first. So if I'm traveling left, my right arm is gonna come to the ground. I'm gonna drive up high. I'm stable through this shoulder and I feel this left hip. Then I'm gonna bring my left hand down, right leg in front, slide the foot back into deep squat. Right hand, left hip, left hand, cross in front, bring the leg through, okay? Boom, eyes, press tall, cross in front. Again, right, left, right, left. As you start to do this, the position is gonna be hard, but the more time you spend in it, the easier it's gonna be. Going the other way, it's just gonna flip. So now it's gonna be left hand, press, find your right hip, right hand comes down, left leg in front, slide, deep squat. Left, right, high, cross and flip, and slide. I'm gonna get a lot of hamstring, a lot of hip, and then I'm starting to use my my shoulders for stability as well as mobility. So you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck in these movements as far as warming everything up. Okay, so another good beginning locomotion drill. We're gonna call this the Frogger. You'll see different names for this, different variations. Ideally, we're getting some good closed chain for the upper and lower body. We're starting to open the hips. Great, great movement, again, for the warm up. Can also be trained, but it's a good way of getting full body nice and warm. So I'm gonna start in a deep squat. And for, for some of you guys, this position is hard, but the more time we spin in it, the better it's gonna get, the more it's gonna open up. So I'm gonna reach forward and I'm gonna press through the ground, press down and hop. Okay, reach forward, press and hop. Reach forward, press and hop. I can sit in this position, open up the hips. I can also go knuckles, right? Makes it more, a little bit more of say an eight type movement, but, but again, I always think of it as we're driving the hips, we're starting to open up the hips, we're starting to get some good cl closed chain flow. So coming back, I'm gonna alternate. All right, so when I first started to do this, this was hard for me. My hips didn't wanna be in that position. The more you do it, the more you'll open up. It's fun to play with these positions and you're getting a, a lot of mobility, a lot of flexibility without having to just stay in a position.
So when I first started just practicing playing around with these positions, I mean, just to try to grab my, my toes, hands to my toes, get a little hamstring stretch, that was a challenge initially for me. Uh, just kind of started learning how to kind of just be here, breathing up into my chest, on exhale, just letting my knees relax, letting gravity push me down to the floor. So just spending time in this position. Uh, initially as well, my neck, obviously, the big neck stretch. So I just try to stay in this position, stretch my neck out, big breath to my chest. Exhale, my knees relax. Gravity pushes me to the floor. I'm not forced it, another breath. Exhale. And now just let And then roll out. Just playing around with it. It's really no right or wrong. I'm just gonna get no joint pain. It may feel a little uncomfortable, a little discomfort, a little panic. Just learn to breathe, let gravity do its work.